Welcome to our seventh webinar. My name is Kate. I'm the head of user support and a meteorologist. And today I will be focusing on the new features, the new data we have added to Windy and uh, WindHub apps. Now, the biggest announcement is that we have added Windy up to the app gallery. So now uh, there was a problem on Huawei devices. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Uh, the no Google services are available and they were, they were essential for Windy. So for a while, the users of Huawei devices were unable to use Windy app, but now they can do it. There is a difference, uh, not, not in terms of features or data between Windy app Android and Windy app on Huawei, but uh, as you can see here on my weather map slide, the coastline looks different. It's because a different kind of map is used. It's better for seeing the exact uh, shape of the coastline. So if you are using an Android device and you like this map better, you can download App Gallery and then download Windy App and use this one. It should be updated as often as the one on Android devices. So I really encourage you to try it out, especially if you have a Huawei device. And then of course, leave us a review and give us five stars you know, the drill. I'm going to talk about uh, the new support options and I'm going to tell you why. We have so many features. We add new ones quite often. And then at some point when a new person comes across our app and then it gets a bit overwhelming because they say, wow, this is, this is so much. I am just a fisherman. What, what do I do? So I wanted to answer this question, like how can Windy app help me? The first thing is if you have, well, for example, if you belong to a club or you have an association of, I don't know, fishermen of North England and you have a newsletter uh, or you have a mailing list or you have your group on Facebook or you have a website, then you can come to us and say, our members might benefit from Windy app. Can you give us some specific content, some specific instructions on how to use your app for our uh, exact purpose. And then we're going to say, sure, tell us a bit more about what you do, uh, what are the important parameters for you, and we'll uh, give you uh, something to guide you. If you have a big crowd, we can do a dedicated webinar for you. For example, let's say the season is starting and all voters in Australia want to know about Windy app. We can uh, think of something and do a webinar. Then if you're having some, I would say meteorological trouble, uh, you can ask for a consultation with our meteorologist. How it could look, for example, you come to us and you say, this is how I look at the forecast and these are the problems that I have been having. And we say, well, it's great that you're doing this, this, and this. Can you uh, also do this next time? And then uh, the last uh, thing is, if you are an instructor or a guide and you have to repeat maybe some information for your students over and over, or you're not sure how Windy app can help, you can come to us and say, I'm a kiting instructor and I want something to give out to my students. And it would be explain how to read the kite surfing forecast, for example. This is the QR code. It's uh, the link to our user support email. You just email us and say like, this is what is happening. This is the kind of group of people we are, this is what we need. Can you help us? And we say, sure, let's talk. And then we go from there. I have two questions. They're quite small. This is how you can help us and your fellow. If you do an outdoor activity and you know your way around Windy app and you're comfortable speaking, then send an email to me, kate at windyapp.co. And then you say, hey, um, I'm a paraglider. I think we should talk about it. Or if you follow someone uh, like on YouTube, maybe on TikTok, and then you like what they say about the weather and forecasting, you can say, hey, why don't you do a webinar with Kate? So I would appreciate uh, any recommendations. Come talk to me and we can do something uh, useful for the community together. And the last question to you is where do you get your educational content? We want to make weather more predictable, more understandable. We want people to uh, understand how weather forecasting works. What are some tips and tricks? We have learned over the years about weather forecasting and boating and so on. Right now we are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we're trying out Twitter, but we also want to know where do you guys like to hang out? So can you please uh, let me know in the chat? So we have added some new weather data. 
in the course of several months. I start with the weather archive for 2023. It's added. It's it's in the apps. I uh, there is monthly information for each month of 2023, but this there is also daily information and if you click on uh, any month of 2023 any day then you will get a three hour weather forecast for each day we have also added swell from the wave watch 3 model uh, it's a model from noaa and you can add it at the moment only on ios devices in the custom profile you can add the swell from the new model and the swell from the default model that we had before. And you can compare uh, the swell from two models and this would help you make a decision. So it's just like compare mode for wind. When you see that both models give the same forecast, like in my screenshot, then you will know that you can trust the forecast. If it shows completely different things, there's a high chance the forecast may change. Our default weather model has a better spatial resolution. It's eight kilometers. It used to be updated only once a day. Now we are updating it twice a day. And on this screenshot, I wanted to show you how you can check when each model was updated. The general rule is the less time has passed since it was updated, the fresher the data is and the more accurate it is for the moment. So. The next uh, several slides are about new weather models. So they're not for one particular parameter, but for all the parameters that we take from a weather model, wind, gusts, precipitation, so on. And the first one is our own weather model that is created by Windy Labs. This is a team of meteorologists and experts that work for Windy and uh, they use AI and latest technology to make a better forecast for people that do outdoor activities. Uh, the great thing about this model is that it's, so, so this doesn't happen usually. So it's global, but it's also, it has a resolution of a regional model. And it's also, it gives a 10 day forecast. Usually a model is either with high resolution and it covers a certain region or it's global it's long but it's not so good resolution x3 takes the best of both worlds the resolution is three kilometers it's updated four times a day which is also great and it gives 10 days of forecast and this is a pretty slide to show you the coverage of the model i will give you a minute to detect if your area is of interest is covered by x3 this model is something we created ourselves and you cannot find it on any other websites some of other weather models that we have added this one is called ukv or uk met it comes from the met office you can obviously see the coverage united kingdom ireland france germany norway on the left is the wind speed forecast on the right is wind gusts forecast. It's a very high spatial resolution, two kilometers, and uh, it's frequently updated. I would say it's a great addition. Icon D2, this has been added to Windy App a while ago, and now we have added it to WindHub on Android. It's from the, do the German weather service. It has also got great um, spatial resolution and uh, updated very frequently. It gives a forecast up to 45 hours, but that's only once a day and other forecasts, I think they're something like 36 hours ahead or maybe less. I, I should double check. Okay. So HRDPS uh, covers Canada and a good chunk of North America. So the U S users also benefit from this model. It comes from the Canadian meteorological service. It has also got great spatial resolution and is updated four times a day. Why I'm <laughs> bombarding you with these abbreviations, why I think it's important to speak about new weather models. The regional models we add, they have higher detail. They have two kilometer resolution, three kilometer resolution. And this means forecasts will better reflect the wind flow over the terrain. And not only wind flow, but also how all parameters change when it's not flat, but rather, for example, on the coastline or in the mountain. Higher the detail of the model, the better these things are forecasted. Imagine you have a thunderstorm and that would be maybe five, 10 kilometers in diameter. And if you have a weather model that has 25 kilometers of spatial resolution, you will not be able to calculate what is going on in the thunderstorm just because it's too small. It's inside the grid. But if your weather forecast is two kilometers, you can incorporate more physical uh, processes 
in your forecast and this makes your forecast more accurate the other big thing is uh is that the more models you have on each spot for in general it means there's more data for a compare chart so if you have only one model on one spot all you can do is just use it as it is but if you have five models and two of them are uh, regional models then you can make a more informed decision because you will see where what the models tend to agree on also uh, this would be another source of data for calculating the model accuracy rating let's move on to features so we we've talked about data now we're going to talk about features i'm going to talk to you about uh, the ways we redesigned and added features to WindHub. First of all, this is something we call the model picker. It's called like that because you pick each model or pick a layer. And right now it has been redesigned so that there's a very clear picture of what you can choose from uh, and what are the correct characteristics. Routing is something that is available in WindHub and not available in Vindiab at the moment. As you can see, you can plot waypoints and you can uh, change them on the fly. In each waypoint, you can see a little wind barb uh, that shows you the wind direction. You can also set your starting time, your departure time, and your speed. And this will calculate the forecast for your entire route. And you can see it in the table. On the screenshot on the right, you will see that for each waypoint, uh, there is a wind speed, wind gusts, and so on. So new thing is the thunderstorms forecast or the lightning forecast, you can say. It's a 48 hour forecast. It's a layer that can overlay any other layer. For example, you can combine wind and thunderstorms or precipitation and thunderstorms. And I think it's a great addition because uh, thunderstorms can cause trouble for the main users of WindHub, boaters, fishermen, and uh, sailors. Also an update to nautical charts. We have added uh, lighthouses, signal lights and buoys. This is all currently for the US coast, but we are working on other territories. And the last thing is that if you use Windy app, you probably recognize the Windy bar on the left screenshot that represents the wind forecast for the week. Now the WindHub users also have it. There's also a list of your favorite points and your routes. And the good thing about it is you can save your route and then come back to edit it as many times as you need. So Windy App, wind and rain combined. This is a totally new layer where we can see the wind and the rain overlaying the wind forecast. And I would say that for our users that are interested in good uh, wind, it's a good tool to see if this good wind is actually usable. So if, it, if it's windy, but there's heavy rain, you will probably not go head surfing. Another thing that improved model accuracy rating, we take each model and then we compare it to the actual wind observations. And we say in the past 10 days, ECMWF model has been correct 98% of the time. Now, this is a feature that has already been in WindyApp for a while, but now it's been improved. It's a bit smarter now. So for Android users, finally, some great news. We have three widgets now instead of the one very old fashioned one. Uh, and these ones, they come with a windy bar and also other types of information. You have your wind temperature or weather conditions. And these ones you can resize, you can shrink them, you can expand them. There will be new webinars coming up and we will of course notify you about them. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Have a great day or evening or whatever. Bye.